where we have raised our soil tests, um, it's incredible. But we're not spreading fertilizer. Mm -hmm. We're banding fertilizer. We keep growing a better crop and a better crop. And it's the one thing I'm a huge believer in. It took me a while to understand it, but a good crop will grow you an even better crop the next year. It is amazing how that works. Well, we go right back to that residue we were talking about before. Yeah. You know, 300, 300, 350 bushels worth of residue should a year or two down the road give you that much more food value yeah. than 200 or 250. Oh, absolutely. It's it's night and day. I, it's funny, I, I've been with some growers around here and they'll say, well, so-and-so's corn said it made this and I'll laugh and be like, no, it didn't. Like, how do you know? I'm like, I can see the residue. Like, you can see the residue out there. And I said, I'm telling you, there is a huge difference between 250 bushel corn residue and 300 bushel corn residue. And if you've never seen 350 or, you know, even 400, it is a nightmare in dealing with sometimes. That's where just physically trying to size that residue yeah. to give your, your other programs an opportunity to be yeah. more successful. And, and it's funny too, it's not just the amount that is out there. I mean, we know what that is. We know that that is a, basically a one-to-one -one relationship. It's about 52, 48, 51, 49, depending on who you're listening to, you know, uh, grain to stover. But those ratios are not going to change. But one of the interesting things that I've noticed, and I've teased Fred about this quite a bit, um, the healthier the residue, the better it breaks down. Oh. So when we did some trials with uh, fungicide work a few years ago, uh, the corn that didn't have fungicide, uh, it was back in 16, the rust year. Um, it was 80 to 100 bushel less than where you did apply a fungicide. But what was amazing was a couple months later, where we didn't apply the fungicide, the corn residue looked like we just combined it yesterday because it was already brown and dead the day we got there. It, it wasn't the microbial activity. Yeah, it had nothing to yeah. give up that, that really the, the biology wanted. It was just junk. Yeah. But the corn that had the extra sugars in it and had the extra fertility in it and had the, uh, uh, the makeups of, of, a, of a decent corn crop, well, I mean, that corn was just degrading and as black and carbon on it as could be. And that was when I realized right then, ah, there's more to these fungicides than just keeping these things, these plants healthy. It's also a decomposition later okay. for breaking down to keep the next crop and get it going. So all these things, they, they all touch one another in some form or fashion of trying to mend these programs together.